actually. I think there's some sprouts, <coughs> cauliflower, and survive cabbage. <coughs> Why are all these netted? Because the butterflies like them. They like to lay their eggs <coughs> and then the caterpillars demolish them. Oh, we got here. We've got <coughs> the leeks. They did look like blades of grass when we put them in, but they're coming along. They'll be ready wintery time. So these are our courgettes. We are probably harvesting up to 10 every day. Um, been chopping some of the leaves off. It just kind of exposes the flowers first thing in the morning. So it's uh, more attractive for the bees to come in. We got these seeds from the flower market in Amsterdam. Definitely courgettes. Definitely courgettes. There we go. There's one coming out. The reason why you chop them there is that what's left the stem, it acts as a little bit of a stabiliser. Because if you cut it right to the centre, you would just end up with one stem and they may snap in the wind. So here is a male flower. You can see it's long and spindly. There's nothing. So when your bees come on, <laughs> And these, as you can see, as they're just starting to grow in the fruit. So the fruit is behind the flower of the female. Right. So if the males get pollinated correctly, you should get nice courgettes. So these are dwarf French beans. Absolutely delicious. We'll be picking some of them later today. Really tender. These are um, butternut squash. We've never done them, never grown them before. So we've certainly got, you can see down there, there's one. Lots of flowers. Uh, and again, you can remove leaves. So oh, there we are. There's the bottom of the squash. See what, Tilly? Yeah. <coughs> These are our potatoes. Um, I think the Maris Piper. Got to wait till they've flowered and then die off a bit. And then we can dig them out. It's a good year for going and we've got lots to eat. Good harvest today.